Hi, I'm Presley and I'm doing my medical trauma patient assessment. So I'll start with BSI and I'll make sure I have my gloves and all my protection on. Um, I'll do my personal safety, my partner safety, and the safety of my patient and the whole seems to be safe. Um, there doesn't seem to be any environmental hazards at this point. Uh, my numbers of patients are one. The MOI seems to be um, a young girl who fell off the trampoline. Um, need for additional resources, I will call ALS since this is minor head trauma. Um, there doesn't seem to be any need for any specialized equipment or any C-spines or any additional BSI. Um, my general impression is a young adolescent female between the ages of 11 and 13 um, who fell off the trampoline and has a small injury to her head. Um, there doesn't seem to be any life threats or disabilities or deformities. So I'm going to do my patient report and introduce myself. Hello, my name is Presley. Can you please tell me your name? Faith. And do you know how old you are? I'm 11. Okay, is it okay if I treat you today? Yes. And why did you call EMS? I fell off a trampoline. And what seems to be the problem? My, I hit my head on the trampoline. Okay. Um, so her Apu, she seems to be alert and orientated. Um, do you know where you are? Ow. And do you know what day it is? January, Monday, January 3rd. Okay, so she is A and O times three <coughs> since she can't answer all of the questions. Um, her airway seems to be normal. Um, her breathing seems to have adequate equal and chest rise. Um, the rhythm seems to be regular and her rate seems to be normal. Um, her circulation seems to be normal. Um, her skin is pink, warm, and dry. Um, there doesn't seem to be any external bleeding. And how old are you? 11. Since she is 11, there is no need for a cap refill because that is for ages 6 and under. Um, I'm going to identify this as a load and go because there is minor head trauma. Um, if necessary, I would do a full body palpation to check for any disabilities and deformities. Um, so what were you doing when this injury happened? I was jumping on trampoline and I fell off and hit my head. Okay, and does anything make this better or worse? Your pain? Holding my head makes it feel better. Makes it feel better? Okay, and um, does your pain come and go or is it constant? It's constant. It's constant? Okay, um, and where does your pain spread anywhere else, or is it just on your head? Just my head. Okay, and um, has this pain happened before, or just since you've fallen off the trampoline? Just since I've fallen off the trampoline. Okay, um, and how severe is your pain on a scale of 1 to 10? A 5. Um, 1 being the lowest and 10 being the highest? About a 5. Okay, and um, when did this occur? Around what time? Around 3.30. Okay, and the duration of your pain, is it still ongoing? Yes. Okay. Um, any signs and symptoms? Do you have a headache? Um, do you have anything that is making you uncomfortable? My head. You have a headache? Okay. Um, are you allergic to anything? No. Okay. Um, are you taking any medications currently? No. Okay. Um, do you have any past medical history? Have you had any surgeries or anything that we should know about? Nope. Okay, and you said you were 11 years old. Do you know your weight? 75 pounds. 75 pounds. Okay, and what was the last thing you ate today? Hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos. Okay, and um, what were you doing leading to your injury? I was jumping on the trampoline. Okay, um, so now I would check her vitals. So I would check for her pulse, which seems to be 90 beats per minute. Um, I would check for her respirations, which seem to be 15 breaths per minute. Um, I would check her blood pressure, which average would be like 100 over 50. Um, her skin is pink, warm, and dry. Um, your pain on a scale of 1 to 10 is 5. 
is a 5. And um, she is A&O times 3. Her GCS is 15 since she is responsive to everything. Um, can take orders. Um, and her pupils seem to be equal, round, and reactant to light. Um, I would reassess my vital signs and patient assessment until she got to the hospital. Um, and that is the end of my trauma patient assessment.